Sinead O'Connor is in need of serious professional help. This is not breaking news, but that doesn't make it any less true. Earlier this week, the singer recorded a 12-minute video in which she detailed the depths to which she's fallen, saying she's just been wandering around for two years and doesn't believe life is worth living. I am now living in a Travelage motel in the ass end of New Jersey, says the former Grammy winner in the footage below, adding. I'm a 5 feet 4 inches little f-king woman wandering the world for two years by myself. Just over a year ago, O'Connor was reported missing amidst fears that she would kill herself. She later penned a lengthy note and blamed her family for what the artist deemed a total psychological and emotional destruction. In this Facebook video, O'Connor again lashes out at her loved ones, saying the way they've shunned her has led to her mental breakdown. I'm all by myself, she says. And there's absolutely nobody in my life except my doctor, my psychiatrist, the sweetest man on earth, who says I'm his hero, and that's about the only f-king thing keeping me alive at the moment. And that's kind of pathetic. I'm not staying alive for me. If it was just for me I'd be gone. Straight away back to my mum. Because I've walked this earth alone for two years now as punishment for being mentally f-king ill and getting angry that no one would f-c-k-n-g take care of me. The artist explains that she filmed herself like this in order to show people what it's like to be one of millions suffering from mental health disorders. Mental illness, it's like drugs, it doesn't give a shit who you are, and equally what's worse, it's the stigma, it doesn't give a shit who you are. Suddenly all the people who are supposed to be loving you and taking care of you are treating you like shit. It's like a witch hunt. Horribly sad stuff all around.